Welcome back guys. So today I wanted to showcase real quick, seriously, real quick, a Pi 3B Plus case. So a lot of us who are fans of the Raspberry Pi, we've jumped aboard the Pi 3B Plus recently. It's the same price as the, the you know, previous model and it does have some added features and benefits and whatnot. So why not upgrade to a Pi 3B Plus? Just makes sense to me, might as well, right? And it's pretty cool, love working with this thing, doing projects and whatnot, but the biggest issue, especially when a new board comes out, is finding a case for it. So I've showcased maybe one or two other cases for this and what a lot of companies are doing since they realize, you know, the popularity of this thing is, is skyrocketing. People are grabbing these left and right. Is that we don't have all the same options that we did before. Reason being is layout's a little tiny bit different, but mostly because of the addition of the power over ethernet uh, pins. A lot of cases don't accommodate that, so this board won't fit. Uh, there's still some out there that will, so definitely if you're looking for cases, pay attention to the compatibility. Make sure it says a Pi 3B Plus will fit. But what these companies are doing, they're taking pre-existing cases and they're modifying them. They're changing out the layout to accommodate this particular board. So this company here, Smraza, I'm not sure if I'm saying their name correctly, but Smraza, they reached out to me, said, hey, we want to send you a Pi 3B Plus case, little kit, a little starter kit to peep out. And I was like, you know what, that's cool. I'll check it out. I had no idea what the case was um, at first, but I got this and I opened it up and I'm like, oh, that's pretty familiar. I've uh, looked at these cases before, right? Um, even fairly recently, but what it is, and this isn't the only thing this kit comes with, but it does come with a layered acrylic case. So this looks just like a lot of other acrylic cases that are out there, but there is minor differences. The layout's gonna be a minorly different to accommodate this particular board. But the cool thing with this is it does have, you know, it does have a cutout for a fan, it has ample uh, airflow slots on the bottom. You do have your GPIO slot here. Uh, you know, you've got access to the other cables as well, you know, for video and, and whatnot. All your access on the front for ports. Everything's easily accessible. This is just like a lot of other cases that I've looked at. Micro SD card slot would be down here. It's very easy to pull in and out. Um, this it might you might be like well it looks a little cloudy what it is is that there's a sticker on the top and bottom acrylic pieces you just got to peel off they put that on there to, to make sure it doesn't get scratched in transit or storage or you know all that good stuff so that's the first thing this kit comes with then it also does come with a nice little fan and the screws to mount to the top of it and I already have a kit put together I'm going to show you guys in a moment here you also do get three heat sinks. So the nice thing with this is that you do have that cutout on the bottom. So you can have a heat sink on the bottom and your two heat sinks on the chips on the top. So that's nice. And the other cool thing does come with a 2.5 amp charger with a power button built in. So pretty nice to have that, but you do need to make sure you're using this properly. Uh, make sure you do a safe shutdown within your system before you power off with the cable. If you just power off, it's just like pulling the plug. So it's pretty nice to have this, but you essentially, especially if you're using like retro pie, what you want to do is do a shutdown in the system. And then once it's completely shut down, hit that button, cut the power. So the fan and everything's off. It's not drawing any more power. And then once you want to boot back up, hit that button again and you're good to go. So it's a nice little feature to have, but just make sure you're using this properly. Um, and then the other thing, which I give them a lot of credit for this because a lot of companies don't do this, but they have a full color little manual that fully explains how to put this case together. Even shows you, you know, cause some people might get confused on the orientation for the GPIO for the fan, but this has nicely illustrated full color step-by-step step on everything you need to do. A little diagram for the actual GPIO as well, so that is pretty good. Uh, very interesting, easy to assemble case. So essentially, I'm, I already have one put together and I've shown these being put together. I just wanted this to be a quick one, show it to you, tell you how much it costs and where you can get it and whatnot if you are interested. I've put these together plenty of times before, but essentially the easiest way to do this is, like I said, this already comes pre-assembled or at least mine did with the uh, acrylic screws already in there. So you'll just undo them, pull the screws out. And then this, if you go by the layers, 
the first black layer, not that one, but the next one up, you'll pull all the layers off, place your pie in there, put the top layers back on. Top layer, you're gonna wanna mount that fan to it first, and then just assemble and you're good to go. So pretty easy, simple case. Like I said, didn't wanna to spend too much time showing how to put it together, but once it's put, it, put together, it'll look very similar to this. Very easy access for the micro SD card slot. It's fully cut out. All the ventilation, very nice. These cases work great for me. I use them. Um, you do have that access on the side and on the top for your GPIO for any kind of specific projects you're doing. So nice that that's uh, taken into consideration. So Smraza, they're, you know, if that's how you say the name, right? Smraza, interesting. They got, they got a lot of other cases and they got another new one they were talking to me about that they were interested in sending. And as soon as I get it, I'll showcase it. But this little kit here um, goes for about 16 bucks. For an acrylic case, I wouldn't pay 16 bucks, but for this coming with all these extras um, and pretty much being a little starter kit with a power supply fan and heat sinks, I think that's a fair price. Uh, that's up to you to decide. Typically you could find power supplies for anywhere between eight plus dollars um, and then a case, depending on the quality, the type, you know, you're, you could be looking at a lot of money, but some cases $10, and higher, some 20 plus, some 50 plus, just crazy. So it's nice to have options. Uh, not everybody cares about acrylic cases. Some people really dig them for their simplicity. And that's why I'm showcasing it. I figure, hey, might not be for everybody, but it's still a cool little deal with everything you get uh, for the price. And they do have some kind of, when I checked earlier, they do have some kind of a special deal, like coupon or something you can use on Amazon. So link will be in the description. They sell a lot of other products as well, but I'll put a link up for this particular case so you can see if it's something you are interested in. So really do appreciate you guys popping in. Pretty awesome stuff. I love the Pi 3B Plus doing a lot with it. And it's cool that we're getting more options for cases. So smash that like button, subscribe, drop a comment down below if there's any particular cases that you have seen out there that you want me to take a look at. Hey, let me know about them. You know, I don't catch everything new that's out there. So I do appreciate when you guys give me the heads up on things. So thank you. And with that said, guys, I will catch you all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Boom.